Hey yo, welcome to Math Party people. Coach Anderson here, and we've got another question here where we're gonna be setting up a linear equation. The y equals mx plus b, I'm gonna go ahead and set that up for you and show you exactly how to solve it. And don't forget, quick 10 seconds, we have a free practice test that we just released that we're gonna be going over in Monday's class. So if you're watching the video the day it got released, that's tomorrow. So on Monday, we will be going over this brand new practice test, recording it, and then we'll continue doing more and more of these and putting them into a course where you can access the practice tests, take them and be timed, and watch the video walkthrough at any moment. So go ahead and click that link right over there or in the description to get our free practice test. And that includes automatic registration for our free class. That way you can join, raise your score, and ace the ASVAB. Let's go and get started on this question to show you how fun that might be. So first step, read the question first. I don't care what type of question you're dealing with, read the question first what are we doing here what do we want so how many pages did anthony have left to read initially okay so that doesn't make all the sense in the world in terms of okay what do we do kind of thing so if i'm looking at this okay how many pages did anthony have left to read initially there's a key word in there and that key word is going to be initially so again, what we're going to be working through is going to be the equation y equals mx plus b. And I'll explain each part as we go through the problem. But when we're looking for what we have initially, that is always going to be regarded as the b or what's going on in the beginning. Okay, so that initially, so right over here, this is what we're looking for. This is what we want. Beginning amount beginning amount all right that's exactly what we want now if we look through the rest of the information i'm going to give you a clue as to what each piece represents here so b represents the beginning amount the y over here that represents the ending amount okay this is the beginning this is the ending x typically represents what it took to get to that ending amount and typically that's going to be time how much time it takes to get to this amount m remember mx plus b that's your slope now slope in the real world that's going to be called a rate and you may recognize that as something that includes the word per the word per excuse me there but yeah the word per gives it away it gives it away that you're working with a speed or something that tells you how quickly something's moving along so again your beginning amount your ending amount how much time it took to get there and here is the speed that you got there with. So here we go. After reading 60 pages per hour, mm, instantly, 60 pages per hour. Again, the word per is what gives it away. That right there, my friends, is our rate, 60 pages per hour. And then it says over a period of 11 hours. Instantly tells me that we're dealing with our time. Boom. I'm gonna say right here, and that's 11. And then it says, Anthony now has only 60 pages left to read. So right here, why? That is 60. So boom, I'm gonna go ahead and write that out as well. Let me go ahead and take blue. Only 60 pages left to read. So we'll go ahead and plug that right there. So right there and then plus B. And now we're looking for how many pages Anthony had left from the very get go. Cool. Now there's one little thing that we're overlooking. Let's take a look at that rate one more time. That rate of 60 page, or excuse me, yeah, 60 pages per hour, which is insane. That's a page a minute. But 60 pages per hour. If we're talking about how many pages we had left from the beginning, and then how many pages we have left after we're done reading, what's happening? Are the number of pages that we have left to read going up as we read or going down as we read? Hopefully you know that the pages that we have left to read are going down. Because think about it. If at the beginning of our study session, we have 100 pages left to read, and then we're reading, then we have 90 left, then 85 left, then 81, then 76, the number of pages that we have left is going to continuously go down as we continue reading. So what does that mean? That means that there's one little detail that you cannot overlook. One little detail is going to be that the rate is negative. Our rate is negative. So right here, this 60, 60 pages per hour, that's going to be a negative 60 pages per hour. Because again, it's taking the number of pages that we have left 
and it's decreasing because as we read, we have less to read. So make sure that you understand what these words and numbers mean in terms of the context of the situation because it's going to help you out so much, so much. So now that we're here and understand that, now we can solve this question. Because if you didn't put that negative in there, I can guarantee you that you may have gotten a different answer that isn't even actually there. So here we go. Negative 60 times 11 would give us negative 660. So that was actually not terrible because now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add 660 to both sides. And once we do that, boom, we see that we're going to have 720 equals B. So that means we began we began or uh, anthony you know whoever we're talking about anthony began with 720 pages left to read and then after he was done reading over 11 hour period boom he had 60 left to go and so there it is my math party people we have to understand these problems in terms of the numbers and the situation itself that way you can get the best result possible Again, I'm Coach Anderson. Go ahead. If you like this video, if you learned something, leave a comment. Do me that favor because I want to see this conversation happening here in these videos and our live classes that you should be joining and everywhere else, including in, in my direct messages and my text messages. So again, do what you got to do. Raise your score. I'll see you in the next class and let me know if you have any questions. I got your back.